So what is sacred time? It can be meditation or just time spent quietly and ignoring distractions or just like reciting a particular mantra or words. So for me as a Christian, sacred time means reading my Bible, spending time really um, meditating on scripture and praying. Now, how does sacred time make us more productive? And did it make me more productive? Welcome to Plan, Prep, Pray. Hey girly, my name is Wendy and I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four little ones and on this channel I talk about all things homeschooling, homemaking, mommy self-care, and kids empowerment. So subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. This year we are talking all things productivity and different productivity methods that can help to make us more productive as moms. I have found that things that work for me might not work for you and things that work for you might not work for me. So let's just do all the things. <laughs> so my plan is to go through different productivity methods and tell you the pros and the cons and let you know whether or not it helped to make me more productive. Hopefully through my trial and error you can can get different productivity method ideas. So in Melanie Wilson's book, she talks about how sacred time can um, help to not only improve your mood, but decrease depression and anxiety, and in turn, increase your productivity. Every morning, I spend sacred time. Now, sacred time can just be, it can be whenever, you know? It can be whenever you Find that moment in, in your day to sit down and spend time, as a Christian, for me, in the Word and spend time with God. Okay, so the instructions behind sacred time. So for me, and the way I did this productivity method, is I spend sacred time every single morning um, in the Word and reading my Bible and um, having a devotional. I also go through sacred time with a group of women. Um, and so you'll see that I Marco Polo them in the morning and just to discuss what I, the chapter that I read. So we read this, a book of the Bible a month or a couple books of the Bible a month. And, um, yeah, so that's how I do it. But you can always do sacred time just whenever you have the opportunity to do it. I know some people that uh, they do it at night before they go to bed or they do it during nap time um, in the afternoon. So it's just finding that moment during the day to sit down and meditate um, on, the, on the Lord. So to me, it's super helpful to have an accountability group of women just to help keep me focused and remind me to stay in the word and to um, stay and to make that time. And so just people to like be like, hey, did you read your Bible today? You know, um, so that is very, very helpful to me. It's also very important to me that my sacred time is spent in the Bible and not necessarily on devotionals. I used to just do nothing but devotionals and take that as my sacred time, but I never um, made time to actually open up my Bible and read it. And so for me, sacred time is actually spent in the Word. Um, it's just different. So one of the things that is such a pro when it comes to sacred time, in my opinion, is that scripture is life breathing it's 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 present it is um applicable and so there were so many times in which i'll read something in the morning and there'll be an opportunity for me to either apply what i read um during the day or to use it um so that to me it just it always helped my quote-unquote productivity because it's something that just helped to center me and to keep me at peace and to keep me moving and to keep me going and to maximize on the moments that I had or that I have with my children. Which brings me to my next positive is that it kept me focused on what is important, on what is the most important work, which is, you know, for me personally, being a mom and being a wife. And so, it helped me not only to remain grateful, 
but to know that I am living in my purpose. Knowing who God is, you know that God values time. He values how you spend the time that he gives to you. And so he values being a good steward of your time. And for me, nothing is more important when it comes to productivity, when it comes to being a good steward of your time, than spending time in the word, than getting to know who God is and what God has to say about any and everything. Also, I am a more pleasant person when I am centered and focused on God, when I am um, in my word, because my fears, concerns, and anxieties are lessened and he takes away my burdens. Um, yeah, a con is that I would be very legalistic around my sacred time, okay? I'm going to write down prayers, then I'm gonna write down gratitude, then I'm gonna read this devotional, then I'm gonna um, uh, read the scripture, then once I read the scripture, I'm gonna underline this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. There is a time and place for that. Uh, Y'all know how I love my list. Uh, but there, in my opinion, that was a con for me because of how legalistic and rules oriented I was around my sacred time. It didn't really allow for God to breathe in it, for God to reveal things to me, for me to just meditate and just ponder on who he is and what he's all about. And so by stripping away all those rules and all those things and just saying, okay, I'm just gonna read this chapter. I'm gonna allow God to speak to me. If I have questions, I'll research the questions and I'll do the things, but I'm gonna allow God, when I sit down and pray, allow time for, for communication, for talking, not just for me, just pop, 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 gotta go. You know, just allowing time for things to be able to breathe. And so for me, it was very much a con when I made it very rulesy. The other con that I found with sacred time is um, I can be very hard on myself when I don't get it. I can be very much like, oh, you know, you don't prioritize God because if you did, you drop everything and da da da. And this, for me, that's not God. God is not here to um, all about the guilting and the pointing fingers and all the things. Um, me, God is about the. Um, he, want, he calls you and he leaves a door open for you and he wants you to come in and sit at his feet and sit in his presence. Um, sorry, that's my little one. And sit in his presence. And so allowing room for that is important, but the guilt is not him. So did it make me more productive? Yep. <laughs> I don't think anything can make you more productive as in getting to know who God is and what he says about you and um, just understanding your value and your worth and understanding that during those times that you're feeling like you can't do it, that he can handle your burdens and that he can um, help you navigate through this thing called life, um, that he is life. Check out the link in the description if you'd like to pick up A Year of Living Productively, which is actually the book that I'm using in order to come up with all these productivity methods. And um, check out the newsletter that I send out once a week in order to go over the productivity method of that week, some additional resources for that productivity method, and a preview as to what um, productivity method I'll be doing next week. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to check out next week's productivity method. And until next time, bye. So check out the link in the description if you'd like to pick up